Stefan Tartaglia. I'm Mitch Garvis. It's great to see you all here. Cheers. And one of the things that we need to light cigars is fire. Fire. Master Prometheus, you are going to take fire from the gods and you are going to bring it to the god Nick Oteen. I like that. There you go. I like that. That's not mine, that's right. You're Kipling. Okay. We, we talked about the poem The Betrothed recently. Mm -hmm. So, we run out of fire in one of our torches. This is running out. It is running out, and we don't need it to be completely empty to show you different ways of filling your lighter. Now, there, it's not as simple as... Hold on a second, sure this. Watch this. Take this. Yes, my friend. And my lighter is full. Knock your lighter is full, and your lighter is not going to work properly. But it's full. It's going to burn a little bit, then it's going to stop, then it's going to burn again, then it's going to stop, and then it's going to burn again, and it's going to drive you nuts. And that's caused by air pockets in the gas, which really can ruin your afternoon. Yeah, they can ruin your afternoon. They can. That's what we call a first world problem, but it's <laughs> going to ruin your afternoon. There are two ways, two two theories on filling a cigar, uh, filling a lighter. Um, now a lighter gets filled with regular air, whether you like it or not. As it burns out, that volume inside will take on ambient air. Ambient air doesn't burn, and it will take up the space of the lighter fluid in your lighter. The lighter fluid that we're talking about, of course, is butane. Butane. Uh, triple refined, um, extra distilled. You do not want to use regular butane that you would use in a torch. Um, you want lighter fluid that's specifically made for torch lighters. Yes. This one we have here is called London Butane Gas for Lighters, Zero Impurities. Now I'm going to tell you that Zycar brands butane and Colibri brands butane and all sorts of companies brand butane, but the reality is as long as you have that triple dis distilled zero impurities you're fine you're fine you're gonna they're gonna work just fine now let's assume this lighter is empty uh, the traditional or sputtering, way, or sputtering uh, it's not working properly uh, you have a fill valve on the bottom and it's a little tube if you look into it you can see it uh, you can use a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, I'm using my cigar pick here. And what most people will do is when their lighter is empty, they'll go in, and you get the center of that tube, and you push on it, and you'll hear the gas coming out. And you will, you will do that until you don't hear air coming out anymore. That is now what we call purged. You can then take your fuel, upside down because the fuel drops to the bottom push it in there for three to five seconds until it's full you can't tell it's full unless you have a see-through lighter and, and some of our out. lighters do have these little windows which will show us the levels but not all of them will no so that is now a full lighter and it will work consistently until the fuel is run out uh, there's another way to do it that I find I find works better for me and it's the exact same theory but what I like to do is I take my lighter and before I purge it I will add my fuel three to five seconds I will stop now what I've just done is I've created pressure inside the lighter holding the lighter upside down that pressure will force whatever natural air is in there out a lot quicker and you only have to purge for about two or three seconds. You feel the fuel coming out, it's purged. I will now take my fuel again. You'll also notice if you heard that there was a sputtering to the, yes. to the purge which means it was pushing out air along with the butane. Now I'm full. I'm ready to go. That is my preferred method of filling. but. Of any method you use, you need to purge your lighter. You need to purge it of ambient air. Now, one of the things that I've heard and I swear by is that this compressed butane is cold. 
when it's released. So yes. when it goes from one to the other, it really can be very cold. And cold will affect your torch. So what I do, once I have filled it, first I will purge it. I'm going to put this down on my cigar rest. Made by yours truly. Yes, I'm going to purge. And this is easier for people who are younger because those of us with old eyes have to see that hole. Now you purged enough. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to fill it. Always hold it pushing downward. And by the way, if the hole or the valve on the cigar is bigger, on the, sorry, on the torch is bigger, they have different ends. Different ends that are available in most uh, cans of butane. In the cap, they have different ends. And if you look in here, see that? There are different ends that we can just pop out and use as a modifier. Yeah. This one is actually going to fit perfectly. And I'm going to hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. And you are full. Now, are you saying that I should purge it a little and put more back in? No, because you purged it previous to putting in. Okay. Now, because this is now full from very freshly full, I'm going to put this aside for a couple of minutes. Yes. Because I want the the temperature of the transfer butane to cool down, to, to warm, warm up. up. Yes. Because I don't want the cold. If we pick up the lighter that I just filled, it's very cold to the touch, and that can affect the flame that comes out. So what often I will do if I need to use it right away, I hold it in my hand, warm it up for 30 seconds, and away you go. There you go. Now, something that a lot of people in the world will never have this problem. My girlfriend in Los Angeles does not understand the concept of snow tires, but different temperatures affect different chemical compounds differently. Of course. And when I leave my torch in the car, and it's 25 degrees below zero, and it's in the trunk of my car, I come out and I light it, and what's going to happen? Not much. Not much. <laughs> Not much. So you can say, by the way, that's one of the reasons that I, in the winter, spend a lot more time lighting with matches and uh, our little Spill. spills. But I will put it into my pocket, yes. or if I'm sitting down, I will leave it between my unfortunately very ample stomach and my leg, where it will warm up, and I'll give it a little bit of time, and after 10 minutes where it's ambient temperature instead of holy shit degrees below zero, it's going to light just so fine. Light. I, I have the habit in the winter of keeping my lighter in my pocket. Yes. Now there's another thing that we have to be concerned with. Mm -hmm. When you are smoking outside, now is there anything better in the world than sitting outside by the pool, on the patio, on the beach, smoking a cigar? Smoking a cigar with a beautiful woman beside you? But it's going to be hot out. Okay. Now, just like the cold affects your torch, so does the heat. I was smoking in the backyard with my friend Lawrence Young. And I wasn't thinking about it, and it was 32 degrees outside, and the sun was blazing down. And at a certain point, the torch, which was thankfully a plastic, inexpensive, but still very good torch, exploded. Butane is gas. And it expands with heat. Gas expands with heat. Yes. And it goes boom. And it goes boom very loudly. And for those of us who served in the army and have PTSD, <laughs> I ended up cigar, cell phone, and all in his swimming pool. But oh, Jesus. So if you are smoking outside, and I do this quite frequently, either have a pouch or a pocket, a pocket or put it under a shirt. It's if it's 35 degrees outside and cloudy, this won't happen but the sun really has an effect on it, and beating down directly onto the torch will do damage. And don't leave your torch on your dashboard of your car. Exactly. That is a good way to not only ruin the torch, but also your windshield. Yeah. And I've seen that happen as well. So, 
Torches come in all shapes and sizes. Prometheus gave us fire, and we have used fire for the two greatest things in the world, eating and smoking cigars. Stefan Fatalia, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. I'm Mitch Garvis. Cheers.